Yeah. I'm pumped. First bike gang shirts are finally in, guys. Go and cop yourself one of this right here. Now, I'm pumped. First Bike Gang t-shirts are finally in guys. My shirts only come in black as right now. The sizes I have right now are extra small, small, mediums, large, two extra large, and three extra large. So I don't have any extra large right now, but I will get it as soon as possible. It's also printed on an American Apparel t-shirt, 100% cotton. So if you guys had or wore a American Apparel t-shirt ever before, it is a very soft, comfortable t-shirt. The size I'm wearing right now, it is a large, uh, it does have a flap here, or I kind of created the flap just because I do have a pudge. So if you guys do have a pudge, just stretch it out a bit and it's okay because it makes you look like you have abs. <laughs> back wise, it's very fitted. So if you guys do have a wide back, it will show your wide back. Uh, arm wise, very fitted. Um, I think I'm rolling around with like, I don't know, 20 inch arms or something. <laughs> just kidding. I think I'm rolling around with 15, 16, I don't know. 16 arms, I wanna say, 16, 16 inch arms, I don't know. <laughs> but it will just cuff your arm really nicely. Shirts are $17.99. Also, I wanna show you guys this too. After three years of cooking in that Easy Bake Oven, finally upgraded my stove top, guys. All you guys are wondering what happened to my other stove top or why it didn't work. It just didn't work just because some of the wirings was not connected or anything. But I'm pumped because I do have a convectional fan in the back, so I'm about ready just to bake cook or broil anything in this. Behind the scene, my fridge was just leaking, so I upgraded the fridge. So this fridge right here, guys, is more wider. This a bit. Um, freezer, always wanted a downsize, not downsize, a bottom freezer. And yeah, nothing in it right now besides condiments. But I made chicken nuggets, chicken strips, chicken bites, fried chicken, chicken wings. And I thought I finished it all, but a lot of you guys mentioned or told me that I was missing one. Popcorn chicken bites. Let me show you how I make it. Very simple recipe guys, don't blink. So I got five chicken breasts here, which I'm just gonna cut down to strips. After I cut down into strips, I'm just gonna cut it down into bite side pieces or popcorn size pieces, just like that. So once you got that nice and cut, our marinade. So one tablespoon of seasoning salt, half a cup of water, tenderizes meat, half teaspoon of bacon powder. A beautiful clean hand get into it guys. Let that marinate for the time being. So first coating for the chicken would be just plain flour. Second coating, egg mixture. So three eggs going in. Go in with one can of club soda, one tablespoon of seasoning salt. Last but not least, one cup of flour. Mix that in. Last but not least, our seasoning coating. So two cups of flour, one tablespoon of seasoning salt, half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of poultry seasoning, half a tablespoon of cayenne, half a tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of black pepper, last but not least, half a teaspoon of allspice. Whisk that in, guys. And guys, I forgot all about this. Let's do some of the coating. Fried Cheetos. So I got a whole bag going in. Guys, to get good cooking oil for our popcorn chicken bites, so I have this heated on on a max for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, guys, I'm gonna drop it down to a four or six. I'm gonna wait five minutes for our oil just to drop back down to a perfect temperature. Five minutes up, this is how it goes down. So we take our chicken bites into our plain flour. Once you got that nice and coated, everybody into the egg pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. After a little dunk into our seasoning flour. After our seasoning flour, dust off any excess, everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Cooking time, three to four minutes, guys. Four minutes up, everybody out of the pool. So these are pretty much, I wanna say chicken bites, but let's go with popcorn chicken because we gotta make popcorn chicken, guys. Last batch going in, which is the Cheeto crumbs, four to five minutes as well. Everybody in the pool. Let's set this up, guys. I kind of ran out of batter, so I just made a lighter batter for this. So I got the pale popcorn chicken, then I got the dark popcorn chicken, and last but not least, the fried Cheetos popcorn chicken. Guys, that's it. Finish this, let's just make a spicy, tangy mayonnaise sauce to this. So one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of that good old creatine monohydrate. <laughs> Sugar, two tablespoon of ketchup, two tablespoon of sriracha, one tablespoon 
a white vinegar. Last but not least, two teaspoon of chili flakes. There it is, guys. Spicy, tangy mayonnaise sauce. There it is, guys. This is my style popcorn chicken, or you can say chicken bites again. These are your monster popcorn chicken. If you guys are complaining about not being popcorn chicken, let me show you guys. It's just like our chicken bites. Now it is popcorn chicken. <laughs> Take the first bite of this. Click time. Nice guy. Nice. Mmm. Whatever it is, you can't go wrong with fried chicken. With that Cheeto crust. I said it before, the Cheeto crust is amazing. Mmm. Maybe we'll just cut this down into popcorn chicken size. I should have just cut it down a bit more, but still all good. Mmm. All right, I got all your fried chicken for this year. No more fried chicken. I will not fry any more fried chicken this year, ever. I've been eating too much fried food. Well, not really eating a lot. It's just a bite here and there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Out of all three, I kind of like the lighter one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm breaking out pimples for you guys. No more fried chicken. <laughs> no more frying any. I should just put one and one together. Chicken bites are a smaller version of popcorn chicken. That's all it is. Mm, 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 mm. I have three crusts. The fried Cheeto crust is the crunchiest. Tastiest, this one. This is the same batter as this, but I added more flour to this just because I ran out of this batter, if that makes sense. All right, I'm tired of this fried food stuff, guys. <laughs> I want to put this into a wrap. Tomatoes, nice. You know what? That's good. <laughs> Not your aesthetic looking wrap, but I know it's gonna be good. Quick time. Nice guy. Nice. And Paul. Mm hmm. Right there. Now that is bomb, good job. Not right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get that crunch. You get that zingy. Zingy sauce. You get that freshness from the veggies. 
and that wrap. Mm -mm -mm. It's a messy wrap, but it's so bombs. Mm-mm-mm. This eaten by itself, it's all right. This in a wrap, whole new level. That's love. Mm -hmm. It's love and more filling. No more fried foods for the rest of this year. <laughs> guys, I'm pumped t-shirts for Spike Gang. Check in. It's available right here, guys. If you guys enjoy this one, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like, share this. Peace out.